Hello there. This is a, a quick video showing how to install Android 7 on the Nook HD. Uh, I'll have all the links for the files that you need to do this down in the description down below. Uh, I've also got a, a, a companion video, which I'll also link to in the description, um, talking about installing Android 7 on the Nook HD+. Plus. This one's from the Nook HD. I've got another one for the HD+. Plus. Basically the same steps as this, just with some slightly different files. And again, all the files will be up there for you in my Dropbox account for you to pull down. This is 100% free, so there's no cost to this. Let's get started. The first thing, I uh, put the files onto my micro SD card and just put that in here. And the device is off. Let's turn this thing on, and we'll get this thing started. The idea is it's going to boot from these things. You notice it's going to some sort of special bootloader process using something called uh, CyanogenMod, which is uh, open source Android, for uh, lack of a better phrase. All right, here we see, first step is you want to wipe out the um, data that's already on this. So uh, before you begin this, you want to back up everything on your Nook. And you use the uh, volume keys to uh, move up and down in this menu. And if you want to choose uh, an, an option, you hit the uh, Nook key. And if you want to go back up one, you hit the power key. So first thing you want to do is wipe this. And it's going to say, you sure? And it's got about 12 ways of saying that. So we'll hit yes. And this will take a few, probably take a few minutes to do this. Uh, interestingly, sometimes this went by very quickly. On some devices, this might stall out for whatever reason. Installing Android on a Nook is actually more of a, um, I guess, an art than a science sometimes. If that happens, reboot this thing, go back into the menu, try again. You'll eventually wipe things out. Uh, if this little Android guy winds up going sideways, looks like he's dead, that means something went wrong. Uh, in this case, it went through fine. So that's great. So what we're going to do now is let's reboot. So we got that option up there. We'll come back in here. Give it two seconds. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure I want to do that. Okay. It's going back in. Give it a sec. Just a moment, folks. All right, back in. Now what we want to do is we want to install some zips of the SD card. So that's the second option in here. So the first one you want to grab, um, you want to pick a zip. So it's saying choose zip from the SD card. That's fine. Uh, the first one you want to grab is this Hummingbird one. That is uh, basically Android for the Nook HD. There's another one. So that's, that's that, and that's on the SD card. Um, they've got a couple of flavors. There's another one called Ovation, which is for the HD+. Plus. But since this is the HD we use, Codename Hummingbird. That's just the way it is. And again, these files will be up uh, on Dropbox for you to pull down onto your micro SD card. So I'm going to start this up. And this takes, and of course, well, it'll ask us, are you sure you want to do this? And yes, we do. And this will take a few minutes. So I'm going to stop right here, pause, and then we'll come back uh, when things are done. Again, this just real quickly, this can also possibly crash, which isn't ideal. That's fine. Go back and try it again if it does happen. In the meantime, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, we're back. Uh, so you notice that the installation completed. It'll say install from SD card complete. Uh, everything you get a few log file messages here. Nothing really to worry about. Um, if you said if it says it's complete down below, you know you're good to go. So the next step is we want to install uh, Google Apps onto this thing so you can get access to the Android ecosystem. So again, we're going to choose zip from SD card. That's great. And this time we're going to pick the Pico G apps thing. Pico is a very small distribution of Google Apps. Um, it's easier to fit on the SD cards, and it's easy to install on the Nook HD um, because of you know, Nook HD only has about a gig of RAM. It's easy, it just it, it doesn't give you all the apps, but you can always go to Google Play and get the apps you want. So that's not a big deal. So we're going to choose to install that, and again, it'll ask you, are "You sure?" You say yes. About <laughs> option number twelve down there. Okay, and it'll go through, and it's going to install. And this doesn't take quite as long. You get the nice menu in there. It's installing some, installing rather, some core apps, as you can see right there. And this takes a minute or so. I'm hoping it doesn't take too long to do that here. Let's give it a sec here. It shouldn't take very long. Let it go. And let me stop here while this installs. This might take a minute, and I'll be right back. All right. 
Google Apps has been installed again. You can see install from SD card is complete. That's terrific. Uh, so we're ready to roll. Uh, we have Android on here. So the next thing you want to do is take out the SD card, uh, the micro SD card, go up one level, again pressing the volume button, and then you'll want to um, choose the option here, reboot system now. So uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, you'll wind up going into, well, first things first, when you hit reboot system now, you might get some message about root, you know, a question about root missing or something like that. That's because you probably pulled out the SD card. That's not a problem. Just say, you know, don't worry about it to the menu option on that. In fact, why don't we do that right now? I can pull this out with one hand. Oh. Well, I guess I can't talk and chew at the same time. Sorry. So take out the SD card, reboot this thing. What will happen next? It'll go into, it'll boot into Android. It'll take a few minutes the first time through uh, because it's setting things up. So don't worry if you see the little uh, Cyan Engine mod alien icon on the screen for about five, maybe even ten minutes, uh, which is makes it, it brings me to another good point. When you do this install, you want to do this with a pretty full battery on the Nook HD, so um, you don't run out halfway through. Um, so I'll stop right now on the video, get this thing started, and we'll uh, see the uh, fruits of our labor in just a moment. All right, here we go. So I took out the SD card, hit um, reboot. When it asked me about fixing root access uh, because the SD card was out, I said no to that. Not a big deal. You say yes to it. It, can, it, it just has to deal with the installation stuff, so don't worry if you see a message there. But right now we're booting up. Uh, SD card is out, as you can see. Uh, from the slot there and like I said this part where you'll see this sign a boot um, uh, splash screen which again is the uh, open source version of Android we're using uh, and then this little alien shows up for whatever reason he's upside down right here uh, you'll see this for about again five or ten minutes possibly while things get warmed up and after that point you go into Android 7 you're gonna see it's gonna ask you some questions about hooking up to your Wi-Fi network standard uh, installation stuff. You might remember similar things when you actually got the Nook HD to begin with a few years ago. So once you're done there, you're going to have Android 7 installed, looking good, um, with Google Play there so you can go out and get whatever apps you want. I've got uh, another HD that I installed Android 7 on. I've got Netflix on there. It works great, everything. So you have a nice full featured Android 7 device and all of this is for free. Again, all the files you need are linked in the description below. Just put them on an SD card and uh, you're ready to go. Uh, one small caveat, sometimes these things can be a little bit finicky about the kinds of SD cards they boot from, so um, keep an eye open for that. It might take, uh, you might need to try a slightly older card, maybe an 8 gig card instead of a 32 gig card, uh, class 4 versus class 10. Um, that might be the case for you. Uh, so if it doesn't work first time through, don't get discouraged. Just try a different card um, or try the same card. Try booting you know, two or three times uh, it might pick up then. So that's the only other caveat I'd have for you. Uh, otherwise, uh, you'll be good to go. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and I hope it's useful for you. Thank you.